A diplomat's victory is a crisis avoided. These wise words from a European posted at an embassy in Washington tell the story of civil servants around the world. The unsung heroes of wars avoided, crises averted, and victories unknown. But as crises do emerge, conflicts remind us of the power of the transatlantic partnership. Europeans and Americans have relied on a shared relationship of security and diplomacy that has created the relatively peaceful world we live in today. Prussian and Polish generals, Spanish weapons, and French warships helped fuel the American fight for independence. But the two most seminal events in transatlantic history came with the two world wars. After the first, American and French diplomats spearheaded the kellogg briand Pact, the first international treaty that sought to outlaw war. Following the second, the US and Europe embarked on the world's most ambitious peace plan in history, the United Nations an organization rooted in the belief that multilateralism itself was a tool for peace and prosperity. However, the dawn of the post-war period also saw the erection of walls that barricaded people in and kept ideas out. Countries in the East were soon ruled by authoritarian rulers, not by idealist Democrats. The ensuing Cold War sparked the creation of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, and the Soviet counter, the Warsaw Pact. It also spawned the dark days of the nuclear arms race. The White House and Kremlin selected targets across the world, from Kazan to Kansas City, threatening the annihilation of humankind as we know it. These existential threats pushed American, European and Soviet diplomats to pursue détente between the East and West, quelling the impending danger of war. Transatlantic diplomatic victories in Geneva and Helsinki poked holes into the Iron Curtain as the policies of Glasnost and Perestroika spread across the East. In 1989, mostly peaceful revolutions challenged communist rule, leading to the fall of the Berlin Wall and the collapse of the USSR. Realists around the world celebrated victory as they declared the end of history. But the world soon realized it would face several new conflicts, and their resolution would depend on transatlantic resilience and dedication to peace. Armed conflict between ethnic groups in the Balkans and the rise of non-state terrorist organizations across the world prompted unprecedented responses from the transatlantic community. In Bosnia and Kosovo, NATO intervened for the first time ever, pressuring the warring parties to negotiate peace. 9-11 marked the one and only time NATO has invoked Article 5. An attack against one is an attack against all. Showing Europe and Canada's commitment to the mutual defense of the United States. In 2014, Russian tanks clung through Europe's breadbasket to a picturesque peninsula along the Black Sea, seizing Ukraine's Crimea. This illegal act of aggression, a mere six years after invading Georgia, forced fresh questions about the post-Cold War reality. Was the world still split in two? The Kremlin has ambitiously stretched its presence across Europe's periphery, from air bases in Northern Africa to brutalist outposts. In the stark tundra of the Arctic, securing its play for natural resources. Russia's resurgence has unfolded in parallel to China's rise, whose technological advances and surveillance capabilities stoke fear among US and European citizens alike. The world of conventional warfare is changing rapidly, as China and Russia use technology to prey on their adversaries. Submarines lurk in deep Atlantic waters, spying on and threatening the undersea cables that connect Europe and the US, while cyber attacks threaten free and fair elections from Podgorica to Pennsylvania Avenue. Today, adversaries, both old and new, threaten the security of the US and Europe. Russia's antics, China's ascent, and an explosion of non-state actors, like cyber criminals and terrorists, are disrupting the long-standing international order. In the face of these threats, there is a growing sense of urgency to fortify the transatlantic alliance and reinforce its full diplomatic clouds. After all, The peace that Europe and the US have enjoyed has been a joint mission, one we ought to preserve, even past the end of history. <laughs>